Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to edit this picture of my son in his airplane on this awesome foggy day. So this is where we are going to begin, and here is where we will finish. So before and after. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I like to do on all my images is run this image base. It adds contrast, it brightens, it darkens the edges, um, and makes that subject really pop. So, I'm going to scale this down a little bit. That looks good to me. Make sure the light part is over your subject and so the darkness doesn't fall over him. Next, I'm going to tone down the brightness just a little bit. So here's the before and after. It just adds a really nice base to each image before you get into all the fancy editing where we're headed to now. So next I'm going to run this lavish turquoise base. It's going to give you those awesome blue turquoisey tones. Um, so as you can see, I have the mask inverted. You're going to use a white brush at 100% opacity and paint it in the areas where you want the color. Now I know it's going to be very, very strong at first. But that's because I have it cranked all the way up. I find it easier to paint knowing where the color is going and then adjust accordingly. So that looks good to me. I'm going to go in here and tone the turquoise base down just a little bit. And that looks good to me. So from here, as you can tell, the grass got a little bit too saturated um, and the leaves are a little bit dull so I want to fix that. I'm going to go into Color Dazzle and I'm going to increase the saturation here only watching the leaves. So as you can see as the leaves brighten up so does the rest of the image and I don't want that to happen. The grass looks even more saturated than it did to start with and the blues are just a little bit too bright for my liking. So what I'm going to do is drag the color dazzle under the turquoise base, and look, it already looks way better than it did. But the grass looks dead and yellow again, and we do not want that to happen. We only want this color dazzle to affect the leaves. So what I'm going to do is click on the mask and invert it using a white brush at 100% opacity. I'm going to just paint that on the leaves. And look at that, what a difference it made. So before and after, and with the whole base, before and after. So from here we could potentially be done. I like the tones and the overall look of the image itself. Uh, the grass doesn't quite bother me that much. Um, as you can see, there's a few different tones going on, but I will show you a way to fix that. I'm going to run the, the grass rescue. and it's inverted, this is also going to come on very strong because I have it cranked to the max. You're going to use a white soft brush at 100% opacity and then just hit the areas of grass you think needs a little TLC. Now if you were doing this for a client, I would zoom in really close and take the time to mask off the green from your subject. But for the purpose of this tort tutorial. I'm not going to waste your time by getting too nitpicky. Okay, so then I'm going to turn it down just a little bit to help it blend a little bit more. Here we go, and that looks good to me. So, before and after. Before and after. And again, I would go back, maybe lower the opacity on your brush, and just kind of brush off areas that you don't really need it on to help it blend a little bit more. So this is after and before. After and before. So now, potentially you could be done. I'm happy with the overall image and the tones. They look pretty good to me. But if you zoom in on the subject, my cute little son there, you will notice that his face falls flat. And a lot of that had to deal with the lighting. 
It was pretty overcasty and foggy, which was amazing, but it didn't help much for the skin tones. I think he could use a little brightening up. Um, so we're going to go into the, the retouch and go to skin correction. Play on that. And I'm going to go into Skin Dazzle with a white brush on 100% opacity. And as you see, he's way too saturated now. Way, way too saturated. He looks like a new Loompa. So we're going to crank that down and bring it up just a touch. See the difference there? Next, I think he could use a little bit of red in his cheeks and on his lips. So I'm going to play the rosy cheeks and lips. And I am going to select the radiant red for this purpose. Um, again, white brush, 100% opacity, and make sure it's soft. He's going to look like a clown, guys. But we will crank that way down just so there's a hint of red left. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And that looks good to me. Very subtle, just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm going to zoom out here. Group these all together. So this is the after and before. After and before. Thanks for the watch, guys. You can find all these presets on my website, storyfillphotography.com. Have a good day.